Hey everyone, Vince here. And Edward here. Eduardo here. Sheila here. And we are the actually tentative. Uh, yeah, the late, 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 <laughs> late crew. Crew. <laughs> crew. <laughs> Too much delay. So good. So this is well, our first um, recording, actually. So yeah, there was a delay and whatever. Um, it's okay, but uh, we're here right now, the four of us. If someone exactly. comes in and uh, if our fifth member comes in, how come I could hear myself right now? I'm not sure why, but whatever. But Vince, you can clearly hear you. There's no problem yeah. with your audio. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm hearing something. I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe um, e e it is open to another device like... Maybe. Yeah, if I turn off my mic, do you hear something? Ah, there you go, there you go. I just turned, I just clicked out of YouTube and yeah, boom. We're good, we're good. yeah. At any rate, <laughs> we are going to talk about gender roles. And, but before that, we, let's actually kind of um, introduce ourselves because I think no one really knows us. I'll just start because I'm the one who instigated it. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Vince, I am Filipino, but I have left the Philippines 20 years ago. I have been living in California for those 20 years. And I speak, well, three languages, namely English, Cebuano, and Tagalog. English is now my main language because I, I just, I'm surrounded by people who speak English. In the periphery, I hear Vietnamese and Spanish. And so I kind of, well, trying to learn those languages. But, and I also have been learning Japanese since I was in high school. And so I could kind of um, communicate in it. And I regularly attend a language conversation class or rather a language exchange with a, uh, with a native Japanese. And, so, and also my, my cousin is Japanese. So I could kind of you know, talk in, that, in this language. But in, in, at any rate, um, I am a linguophile as you may have uh, heard and or just heard right now and uh yeah this is i i really enjoy learning languages and i am a co-host actually in the influency community headed by hadar shimesh of the influency community you may have heard of uh, the accents way and um the three of us the three of us or rather all all of us here have met, met in that group um i'll pass on the mic now to my actual actual co-host clea edward velasco here you go. Uh, hi, yeah. Hi there, everyone. Have an amazing day or, and night to all of you out there. And uh, my name is Edward Velasco, and I'm uh, I was raised and born um, in in Philippines. So I'm currently in um, in um, Manila right now. And yep, uh, we are um, actually um, meet you know each other virtually. Though maybe um, uh, maybe after this pandemic, um, we're, maybe we you know we we could try to uh, have a plan to uh, meet face to face. But um, that's you know um, that's um, that's a part of uh, um, a part of this. Um, but yep, um, I'm I'm hosting a speaking club meeting event at uh, the Influency Community, and also I'm now just being a part of. Uh, another um, hosting event as well um, at um, on the clubhouse. So yep, uh, that that will be all for me, and I'll give it to my Tokayo. 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 Hello guys. Well, this is Eduardo. I'm from Argentina, and I'm studying English uh, in college. And it's been like six years or uh, or about six years since I started learning this uh, wonderful language. And well, I, I met this guy in the influencer community and I'm really happy to, to be part of this um, new project, making podcasts and I don't know, trying to, to make something else with our language, this language that uh, gave us the opportunity to meet people around the world and um, since I'm, I've never been to an, an English speaking country, these are the, the opportunities I have to take advantage of that because it is, uh, we have these uh, really powerful tools uh, that are Facebook and all the social media. And I think 
we should use these platforms to to learn and also to practice and do the things that in the past we will never have the opportunity uh, of doing. Um, so I, I'm really happy to be here. And well, uh, I hope you, you like our content. And well, I am going to give the command to Sheila. So go ahead. Hey, all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever part of the world you are. So I'm Sheila. I was born and raised in the Philippines, but I've never been back to the country for 18 years. I've lived in Canada for 11 years, so I have also my Canadian citizenship. And currently, I'm living here in Turkey. So like Jeff, I also speak uh how many languages I can speak, Chad? <laughs> I can speak uh, four, uh, four languages. I can speak, no, five. I speak uh, English, Tagalog, Cebuano, French, and uh, Turkish. So um, I love meeting these people, this um, influency community. And also, I'm so thrilled to be a part of this podcast. Thank you, guys. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for the kind introduction, everyone. And um, I'm muting everyone. Sorry, I, I, I don't know what we're doing right now. Right now, we actually are muting, or rather, we're, we were waiting for our fifth member. However, uh, it's just that uh, I think he may be indisposed as, as of right now. And, and as they say, the show must go on. Exactly. And today's meeting is all about gender roles. Um, male versus female, I guess, or male, um, I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> and here, here's the first question. So the way that this is going to work is we're going to ask each other a question and we're going to answer this question uh, to the best of our ability and just keep it kind of light, light and casual. If, uh, exactly. Some of us have had uh, some research, where we actually research some of those questions and so that we could you know, talk intelligently about these things. The first question that we have is, are fathers capable of carrying out the duties of a mother and vice versa? Who would like to take this question, actually? Are fathers capable of carrying out the duties of a mother and vice versa? Well, All right. Um, I, no, sure. Okay. My, my, my namesake. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Well, I think that, first of all, we, we should think of what are those... Uh, duties that are for mothers and fathers because besides giving birth or gestation and i think that men and women are uh, capable of doing everything also nowadays we we have this uh, technology that is uh, we can feed the, the the baby with formula so we, there is no need to to have a mother in the house to feed the kids the the infant so i think that it is about parenting and not uh, duties so if you are uh, if your family or your couple six uh, being equal being equalitarian i think that that's the word and i think that uh that that uh, every, everyone that is part of the family can care of kids and ra helping them to to, ra to raise because uh, maybe uh, families nowadays are not just uh, the the two mother and father and also there can be an uncle and an aunt a grandpa grandma so uh, I think that we should think of that uh, everyone can do what is necessary to raise a kid so. I don't know what you think, guys. All right, um, Kui Edward, what do you think? I'm going to put you in the spot right now. All right, Since uh, you're a father. Your, yeah, yeah. Um, speaking, um, um, coming from me, because um, I'm, uh, I'm a father of two kids. And um, I would say that, yep, uh, fathers are uh, capable of carrying the duties of a mother. Because in the family, you have to help each other. Um, especially if you have time, if you are available, and it really depends on the situation. Who is 
you know, have a, a free time. I'm more especially during my op, uh, during my, you know, my West day, I help my, I help my, my, uh, my wife. Uh, I need to take care of my, my uh, oldest three months old, uh, I would say baby. So, but uh, of course I cannot uh, breastfeed, you know, <laughs> the, um, my, my, <laughs> Um, my baby, but <laughs> are you uh, sure? I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I cannot breastfeed. All right, uh, that 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 is for sure. But you've never tried uh, it. Have you, have you tried it? Maybe I could. You know, uh, I battle I could uh, uh, battle feed. Yeah, I could okay. use a battle feed, something like that. But I cannot breastfeed. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, yes, uh, it is doable. Um, and 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 a vice versa. My my wife is not not really helping me to my job but in some sort of in a way that he you know um he um like he um he provided me the things that i need and he prepared um he yeah he prepared something for me like um um giving me um moral a copy support. a moral a support yeah, moral coffee, support and moral coffee. Supp oh, yeah, and, all, uh, and coffee, yeah. So in a way that she's helping me as well um, in 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 my in my job. So I so um so during my job, so I could I could uh, you know work um, without any stress. So yeah, I think um, that is doable. So that is for me. What about you, Atishila? What do you think? So I couldn't you... agree more with um, Edward and Eduardo. Uh, there's no rebuttal here, I guess, Vince, because both of them agree that um, mom and dad should share their duties. And, uh, you know, from household chores to whatever duties they need to do, it needs to be shared. It's not like the household chores should be with the mom. And, you know, for the financial, it has to be with the dad. No, now it has to be fair. Fair and square. Well, thank you for that. And I think, well, actually, it depends on the duty, actually. Um, exactly. you know, there, are ex there are exceptions. But um, can, yeah, sure, we can, we're capable of doing or carrying out the duties. But how efficient are we going to be is, is the underlying question here. Um, when it comes to being able to do anything, we can learn and we can you know, um, keep on just uh, try, uh, trying um, our best. But um, I guess there would be some things that will be well, easier for, um, for mothers to carry out. For, perhaps when the um, child is older and you, you have a daughter, I think it would be better, or rather the, the father would be able to, or the mother would be able to, um, um, let's see, will be able to, guide the daughter when it comes guide to like, you know, feminine okay. you know, feminine um stuff like for example exactly. like monthly period definitely is something that in your in your alley it would be easier for it's, the of, of course this mm -hmm. kind of stuff like 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 personal or private stuff it's like between the mother and the daughter of course mm -hmm. but other than that also like for me girls they need more they look up to more into a father figure later on when they are in their teenage uh, years they tend to cater more to their dad. Okay. I think I think that also uh, you can look for a role model outside your exactly. you and uh, maybe it can be a friend or a relative. So those people that can help you to guide the, your your child, your uh, teenager, your your, your daughter. Because also you can learn about that and try to help her about those things. It, no matter that it is a family, a family, uh, uh, women things, but we also can learn about that and give give us support. Exactly. You also can can take your your daughter and visit a, a doctor who explain it to them. So it is. I think there are ways to support and and of course care that's of, for sure mm -hmm, care about those things i mean raising kids it's not about like 
mom's job only. It's about like between mom and dad because parents we are the role models, uh, role models for our kids. So that's why as they grow up and they watch us, especially with the relationship with each other, it's very important for the kid's life. So right. it's not like about whose duty is it to discipline the kids or not. It's it's a shared duty, you know. It's like parenting. It's it has to be together. Okay, it's not done by the mom only or not done by the dad only. It has to be together. It's because yeah. I think we tend to to go in prejudice. There are some prejudice we we have that maybe a man can't take care of some things and also women. So we. We have to get rid of those things and try exactly. to share those duties. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah did, yeah. did you have something to add? Uh, yep. Uh, I have something to add uh, because um, yep. Um, regarding with the parenting, uh, we we have to you know um, we we have we 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 have to uh, share our pair share. So like, um, you have to support each other and to exactly to to catch up each others um each others maybe um you're not capable of but you have to catch it up and something that you you are capable of or you, your wife is capable of or you know you need to you, you know you not you need to uh, back up each other and you have to unite um as a family so that that's what's family all about because uh, as we all know um um during our you know in Back in the day, like um, when when we we're um, studying, um, uh, as far as I know, family is a basic unit of the society. So, so we have to at least um, we have to at least um, establish the family by, you know, um, if you are in a circle of family, uh, you you need to do your pair share, and you have to support each other and most, most most of the same time um you, you have to like be a role model to to your um to your kids and also train your kids as much as um as much as possible um while they are young um because um a great family will you know will uh, provide uh, a great a great city and a great city will provide uh, a great a community and a great community will will provide uh, a, a great uh, nation. So, so it's 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 actually boils down to to family. But yeah, regarding with the gender role, um, nowadays, uh, yeah, we we have this kind of equality. So what what men's can do, women's can do as well. Exactly. All right. I guess we have. Um we've uh, exhausted this question we're now going to move on question to, number two to question number two which is what habits are deemed appropriate for men but inappropriate for women and vice versa again what habits are deemed appropriate for men but inappropriate for women and vice versa are there oh, do we have any habits that we can't really do you know or what any, but any, yes, I think this question yeah. really has to go down to the word prejudice. Because let's say, for example, the habits, let's say, um, I could remember like um, men, uh, men can smoke, but women, women can't. It's like, you know, it's it's not good for the the, the site, for, for the people. And also there are what else? Um, drinking alcohol. Before it's like, men it's okay for men to drink alcohol but for women it's totally unacceptable so but now in the this uh this time now it's totally acceptable you know it's like so that's what i've said it just goes down again to prejudice like what men can do now is applicable to women as well to me it, it goes along with uh expectations that uh, society have uh, uh, for women and, and men, and it, it is about also feminine, feminine, being feminine and masculine, and all those things that it maybe it maybe some behaviors that uh, are 
more common for men are not i don't know are not acceptable for women and vice versa i think that it, this question have to do with that that maybe if you see a it's like like uh, nowadays or when a, a person is behaving similarly that uh, doing things that we expect for the other sex is like like they are losing this um being men or women so i think that this question goes uh, on that things on those things on um uh, what we think that women and men uh, have to be doing and and uh, behaviors uh, to me it, it always goes to behaviors because you you can smoke and be feminine or uh, exactly. drink alcohol in a cup uh, really fancy <laughs> but uh, i don't know the way you move the way you speak the how do you behave in general those things have to do with this question what about you edward do you have anything to add to this uh, yes, of course. Uh, for me, um, it has something to do with um, what we expect common to, you know, um, to the uh, to the man. Um, how what what they uh, how they what act habits, as as yeah, as, yeah uh, how, how what their habits or or what is uh, the the common thing the behavior like what my Tokayo said um, that you need to expect. Um, from a guy like me, so for, for me, um, it it is an appropriate um, for a guy like me to to become a nagger. <laughs> so, uh, bossy, yeah, um, I mean, bossy, sorry, Edward. So sorry for the gay uh, for, for the guys uh, out there. Um, uh, PR nagger. Um, I'm not accepting it because uh, though though, though uh, you know um, I can do it, but um, but um, for you know I. The common set and ex, uh, the common expectation um, from from us as a guy is that uh, we are uh, we are uh, we are not a nagger, so we can handle our demeanor. Like, of course, we are a guy. Uh, we are known as a top guy, but sometimes you, you know, um, um, at at the back of our mind that um, we are not top, but that that is that 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 is uh that that is uh the image that we already portray and and also vice versa um for me in, this is just my opinion though um for, for me the uh um the uh, woman or the woman um should shouldn't um be more flamboyant i believe um non, Nonetheless, if they are if they are like if they are if they are like a passion if they are in a passion like you know um doing that kind of thing or stuff, but if they are just um a plain um like uh, a housewife something like that or maybe a not you know it's not like it's it's kind of awkward because um it's more of what you um like what you expect to the man of the woman that that is something to do that you know people can think of that this is not inappropriate for for a man or for for a, for a woman so yeah i think that that's that's my takeaway from that all right thank you for that Chris. i actually have a, a a list that i have well i didn't compile this but i went to cora and asked this question and I someone think, I think we got the same answer there. Eh? Yeah, something. Yeah, so this is what what, what I have. So being bossy is exactly. not okay for women, or so they are constantly told. But default for behavior for men. So we're okay to be bossy, but women are not. Another one uh, this guy was saying was that sticking your hand down the front of your pants and scratching your balls thoughtfully <laughs> are, is fine for men, but, but it's for, not women, good for women, it's not. It's like, not. Yeah. Like, Come on, guys. We each yeah. is two. Yeah, exactly. Like, how? Yeah. Anyway, it's not. <laughs> but the third one that I have here is being self-confident. Well, see above. It says okay. that uh, yeah, be, if you're if you're self-confident, if you're it's like, is it okay for women, but yeah. not okay for men? But not okay for women. Like, well, why? Why not? <laughs> Can we just? I, because I, mean, I think I, women, we are more into. 
we are known to be like more verbal. I guess. Verbal, you know, that's why we are. And men are known to be like, you know, hiding what they, how they feel, their just emotions, they just hide, they just hide it. Yeah. But woman, we tend to verbal, uh, verbalize it. It's easy for us to say how we feel. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's why um, I, I would like what I said a while ago that it's not um, common thing to to a guy to become a nagger. Yeah. So, <laughs> because um, yeah, that that's our image that um, we are, you know, um, that that was the um, the image that we already um establish as a guy mm-hmm. and uh, for me um i, I just want to add up um but uh, this is not a good thing though um of course it's not edward the, the, this the, the, this is not a good thing um that you guys you, you need to like do do this but um morality wise um there was uh, the, there's a um you know for a guy um I know you know this that uh, for a guy is it um is it okay to um to uh, commit adultery <laughs> but or uh or, but for uh, a woman it's not so it's not fair it's not so it's uh yeah uh, that I'm actually expecting it to uh, Sheila to uh, disagree to, to, to disagree yep. but of course yeah, um, but of course uh, don't do it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's different. Like how 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 they let let. But come on, guys. Let's say for example, if like if 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 it's like a woman is is having an affair, it's it's not good because she's a woman. But if a man will have an affair, it's okay because he's a man. What makes us different? Yes, I, I think that it is is a it have to do with um, the idea of property that yeah, I think that there are some cultures or uh, in on, in every culture in the past that the man was like being the the owner or something like that, uh, the owner of his, his wife. For example, in Spanish, we used to have this phrase like, um, like mean like his woman, like su mujer, that, that, that's the word they they used to name the the female couple but nowadays they try to avoid that phrase because it it implies something like being an being, being the owner of the other person uh, now they, they they try to say my my something similar to my wife mi esposa but they don't they but in the past it was really common to hear like my women like mi mujer a woman it okay. was like yes it's a sense of being being the, the owner of the other person and that's that's a uh, that that's something that i i in the past the, the man was like they was given more permission to commit this this faults of being uh, uh, having multiple affairs but if uh, the woman um committed something uh, had an affair it was like they w- kept with a stain like uh, or like um she was ruined <laughs> uh, it's like it's it's like forever already it's like uh, you know it's like mm-hmm. she's already yeah. unforgivable unforgive uh, unfor- <laughs> help me out here guys unforgivable okay yeah, and, and, and it's also you know um, it will also become a label to, to you. So uh, as we all know that um, if if you are already already labeled by someone else that hey uh, this person is um, is um, you know cheating to to his wife or, or this this um, this uh, man is a cheater or this girl is a cheater. So it's kind of hard to you know um, to like to build build up the um the trust of of your maybe your relatives so you have to uh, work for it you have to earn to, to earn for it to to make it establish again it's, uh, it also is like losing purity or something like that 
because uh, women are, are not only uh, women, uh, but also mothers, uh, grandmothers, and they are like a pure figure in the fa within the family. How um, about the man, Eduardo? Mm -hmm. Well, but that's that's uh, like we think <laughs> of our mothers like they she, they are like pure and they caring, and we don't think about sex or anything about our mothers. And I think I, I know that that it is it is not okay to think like that because they are also humans. They they have their needs, their their feelings. So <clears throat> I, I think that we should change things like that, and that's why I think that we don't we tend to not to forgive uh, uh, the women when they commit uh, adultery. I don't know what do you oh, think, Isabel. Yeah, this is actually a good discovery. You know, the, um, this is uh, what a good thing here, guys, that um, we just meet virtually. But um, like what my Tokayo said, uh, my namesake, uh, my namesake said um, that um, you know um, it is like unforgivable uh, according to Sheila because um, according to my namesake that maybe. Um, Maybe because um, the, um, the 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 purity will will lose the purity of the uh, of the uh, woman, and the guy maybe it, you know they don't care about their their purity, so something like that. So <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, Vince because, cared about his purity. And, and, no, and then also uh, a good discovery <laughs> that. We, we have a, a common like a common stereotype or maybe a stigma here that um, in Argentina we, we have the same uh, point of view exactly. like here in Philippines so I'm from Philippines and I've never been in Argentina but we we, we have the same point of view that nothing to lose with the with a guy if you commit if you commit an affair to another woman but for for a girl, um, of course, it's 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 a shame to commit uh, to have an affair to another one. So, because what my Tokayo said, um, um, women will lose their um, purity. So, yep, that, that's my take on that. Yeah, here here in Argentina. But I think what men lose is when they commit an adultery. Okay, if you say that women we come, we lose our purity or our self image, also men will lose their, their self respect. Self respect. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Actually, there, there are people who who would actually say that um, I have a lot of women, you know, sue me or um, I have a lot of women, and I yeah. and I actually could get a lot of. Fly. And they're so I'm, proud of it, they're right? So they're so yeah, proud the, of yeah, it. Yeah, men are so yeah. that they wanted to write a book about their you know crazy yeah, lifestyle. Expectations, exactly. This is yeah, yeah here, both. here men with a lot of women are like winners here, mm. and a woman in the same position is like a slut. She, exactly, exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah, that that's the point of view. Those here. kind of men, they're just narcissistic. Mm -hmm. Most likely, yes. How about this, guys? I have another one. Um, not wanting children. Again, fine for men, but uh, women would be asked, what's wrong with you if you're between 20 to 40? So if you don't want children, it's a, it's a kind of like a taboo for women, but for men, it's uh, accepted. W what's up with this? Have you guys heard about this before? Mm -hmm. It is like women are for, for having children. It's like they're... The, the uh, I don't know the main reason for existing. That's something like I I thought that maybe we in our unconscious we think that women uh, they they are here because uh, to, be a mother. to be a mother. That's uh, one of the main reasons. And I think that I'm okay that if you don't want to have a kid. You are not obliged, but I don't know. It's to me, it's okay. I think that society in general still want women to have at least one one kid. But uh, and also, I don't know if you if you heard about that. 
um, there are some societies that are having like a low rate of uh, of uh, birth in their countries and it is affecting their economy and so exactly. th th there are lots of there are some some nations now that are trying to convince their citizens to become parents because um, uh, it is also for for men nowadays there are a lot of couples that they they get married but they decide not to have kids because they want to achieve a, a good a good um, a job uh, finish their degrees and succeed in life but um, and they think that having children uh, having children is going to be uh, in the middle in the way of their the the success so uh, i think that it is a big problem in developed countries like first first world countries they are suffering from this that uh couples are are deciding not to have kids i don't know if you heard about that guys what do you think about those ideas of not having kids for for uh, succeeding in life in terms of job and career but eduardo for me per okay it's uh, my own opinion like for example it's a choice okay so if a woman doesn't want to have if a woman doesn't want to have a kid or not at the, a certain age then it's her decision but usually i would say that we women we really like to have a kid because it's like not only to prove to the world that you know we can be a mother but also it's like i would say it's a self-fulfillment you know like oh my god I, I i i i can have a baby you know like you know the one someone that you will gonna take good care of okay but i think for men it has to do men they are pretty much more logical about things like we women, we are turned into emotional, okay? We tend to our emotions like, okay, it's nice to have a baby, someone you could take good care of. But for men, logic is their um, way of deciding things. It's like responsibility, okay? Like, oh, having a kid, it's just a big responsibility and, you know, we don't have enough, enough income or, you know, like financial situations is not, um, it's not stable yet. So... For me, it comes yes. down. It's it's a choice. Yes, because I think that uh, you're right with, with that. Because uh, I think that men we are expected to provide, and if we think that we if we have a lot of children uh, to care of, we are going to to work more and to I don't know. <laughs> we will need to provide a house, uh, the food, uh, everything. And I think that that's the the burden in our <laughs> shoulders <laughs> as a, as men. So I think that that's why some men decide not to have kids because they think that it's it's going to be a a, a big investment. So I think that also it's about choice. But yes, I don't know. It, yes, it also it really is about choice, and I have chosen to not have a family just yet. It's, it's, and it's because I feel I don't have enough for me to give. And I have, I kind of remember, I am an only child, first of all. And my dad had to come to the United States when I was a kid. So we were apart for like close to 10 years, 10 years, I guess. And, uh, and it's because it was because of that, that I made me realize that I really should be able to provide for my family so that I don't have to go away and have my kid just be with the mother. I was mainly raised by my mother and my aunts, my uncles, whoever was, was around at that time. And so because of that experience, I actually have, cho have chosen to just, you know, wait, wait it out. I mean, I am kind of, I'm still in my thirties. And so I'm kind of okay having a child, maybe when I'm 40, when I'm really stable. But the thing is uh, for women, it's different when, when, as, as they grow old, they actually lose their exactly. fertility. And so, and there's also a chance for the kid to have mental problems or rather congenital, sorry, not mental, congenital problems. Congenital problems. Yes, congenital. And so I, I, I don't want that for my kid. And so, yeah, that's just, uh, that's why I've chosen not to have a, not, not be married just yet. I mean, I could get married, but I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start something that I could not get out of. And, exactly. You know, 
it, it would it and, would it would defeat the purpose. Yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. And, and just what, what being are, responsible, beans. Just as being responsible. Um, and what about uh, uh, beans? You are you are living in, in the U.S. And as a far, uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the culture. They are like conservative. They they always um, pricing the people that get married, and they always expecting you to get married at certain age, having kids at certain age. Those are, those are the things that I understand from the American culture, and how they they see people like you uh, waiting for for get married and having kids. Well, the thing is here. When it comes to getting married, we're okay because we're actually there's a trend. Millennials are not getting married and having kids just yet. They actually are waiting it out. That we're and um, it's it's all good and dandy, I think. And it's something that I am um, I'm, actually I'm not that proud of it. I, I'm seeing I'm, I'm actually feeling the the pressure already, even though no one is really asking me. Actually, no, there are people who are asking me, "Hey, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna when, when are we gonna get?" our apple which means uh, our grandchildren and it's it does weigh down on me sometimes and but i but the thing is i really do not want to be in something that i don't i can't get out and you know not being able to provide even now that i'm just uh, we're now trying to get a house and it's already stressful for me uh what what more would it be when i have a, a kid that i need to uh, support and not be able to provide for that kid i, I would be in a, in, in a, I would be more stressed, I believe. So I have chosen not to get married just yet. My, my girlfriend um, knows this and she is okay with it. So, all yeah. right. mm. so that's all that we can say about this um, question, I guess. Mm. We can move on to the next question, which is um, what are, uh, yeah, we, actually. We are now in question number four, I think. Vince. Oh, we are? Or I thought we were uh, talking about different expectations for sense. Okay. All right, uh, we can move on to this question then. Are men and women equal in ability and intelligence? <laughs> Are okay, they equal? Okay, that's a never-ending topic. <laughs> never-ending topic. So. There are so many mm. research, like there are biased research and there are unbiased research. But personally, for me, it's like, um, I read it, I will get it from the Forbes magazine. It says, um, decades of research shows that men and women are equal in general intelligence, but there is also a subtle difference between um, when it comes to emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like the intelligence thing, it's, it's the same for me. Men and women, we are created equal in this matter. Yeah, I also heard about that men are commonly more, uh, uh, um, I don't know, have more ability to, in, in terms of uh, moving in the space and uh, driving things. And, but those are things that women also can master and sometimes they are better than any man doing the same things. But it, there are some like uh, natural traits that, traits that we have, but th it doesn't mean that the other the other gender can also develop so i think that women are are naturally capable of reading feelings and emotions and um, but men also can can learn to do so so uh, to me uh, it's more like um the way you you see the world and the thing you you you, you want to to learn and to, to, I don't know, to develop because if you, um, I don't know, also it have to do with the interest. What things are more interesting to you? And maybe um, you like ballet and things that are more like, not too much um, masculine for, if you, <laughs> if you want to say that, like that. But uh, I think that we can develop all those uh, similar uh, characteristic that define women. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not define, but there are more. Um, uh, we expect more from women and men, but I don't know. I think that that um, 
we are different just in we have to acknowledge that men are we have more physical power generally exactly. and that because that was nature nature gave us this this uh, physical power because there was a reason in the past at the beginning of humanity we had to to protect the family we were the, like the warriors like the i don't know the you guys guards. are the providers of the family Provided. like way back caveman time yeah you know, men are always they... outside and hunting yeah oh but hey um, but is... uh but tokayo we we have amazon um back you know um during ancient times so they are powerful women wait they, they were real i thought they were just a um, figment of someone's imagination i thought that was I, I the whole that thing it, that no, that, it, yeah i thought it was a myth but, I, I, this is not but, but uh but the truth is you, you know what uh who is the um um the um the weightlifter um women a weightlifter um champion uh, in, in the olympics hydrogen hydrogen yeah so yes, it's yes, yes. it's actually workable uh, it really depends, you know, on on the uh, behavior of a person. If you if you are if you desire, if you are passionate about um, something that you wanna achieve, like you wanna become a weightlifter, you wanna become a champion of this, you wanna achieve this, is it doable? You can actually do it. So um, th there's no um, debate about this um, because um, what I'm seeing here it's it's a uh, more of um it's more of discipline so it's more of you um you know um your desire will bring you to the best version of yourself and also it's more of like exchanges uh, exchanging exchanging like exchanging um um like um maybe i would say exchanging thoughts or maybe exchanging a uh, uh, concept or anything else uh, because um here's what um what girls can do um maybe uh you know uh, uh, maybe woman um um knows that uh, we, we uh, know know something that we don't know um but um same thing um that uh you know um that that the uh, same thing with the woman that um that there you know um we are we are a man now we 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 know something that women don't know so i think uh, we are um equal um 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 in this kind of in this kind of um question so uh, with the with the ability and uh with the ability and also um with the intelligence so it's just a matter of 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 you um of your desire i, I, will, I agree with away. you Tokaya, i agree with you that there are things that uh we can develop for example here in in my province there was a a, a mine i i think they extracted copper and they there were like giant trucks that carry the the material for being processed and they they opted to to hire women for for driving those giant uh trucks because they they uh, uh they um, claim that women are more responsible and they take care more of uh what they are doing than men so even though that the men always are um naturally capable for driving it's something that goes natural to to men uh but i think i agree with you that the, the women also can achieve the same level or the, the to be uh, masters on those things that are uh, commonly natural for for men yeah, yeah because my, my take on that is that um everything is something that you you know you, you can learn so the something that you can learn and also you can unlearn and relearn something like that so 
So that, that's my take on that. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess that's yeah, but, it. But I don't know if you would agree with me if I say like, I think women are more, let's say when it comes to like memory or retrieval of past informations, we women, we tend to remember it right away than men. Especially, you know, birthdays, special oh, days, anniversaries, I like, think, you know, we women, we are very good with remembering dates, but yeah. I think men has some kind of problem with this one. Could it yeah, be um, that um, we just don't care that much for birthdays? We don't care maybe, about maybe, much. Yeah, maybe that's because, yeah, if we care about something, I think okay. we, we would understand. We women. Would, uh, get it. I, I yeah, think okay. that. Let's yeah. go for this. Yeah. Now, we, now, 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 now you know. Yeah. Yeah, now yeah, you know. Having that that power of remember thing, also yeah. you are more, uh, ten, you tend more to resentment. <laughs> You remember yeah. things that <laughs> we, don't, we don't remember that we do in the past. So, but women always they they always remember what exactly we, we, we are like some part of our brain just doesn't close. Whereas men, you tend to be so like okay, this box is closed, this box is closed, this box is closed. But for us women, this box is still open, this box is still open, this box is still open. So, for example, if there's some upcoming arguments. You know, we are like this box we get from this box, this box we get something from this box, this box we get something from this box, and then boom. We put everything in the same <laughs> box, in the, in the same box. So uh, we always mess it up our ideas. But that that's that's really funny. But um, I think that men we don't care a, a lot about things that maybe so it's we pretty normal for a man like you you really it's not really important for you let's say special dates like how um you know birthdays anniversary especially like let's say wedding anniversary or we say we call it monthsary so really you don't care about it yeah uh, i can relate into that um, because um me uh, i i actually forgot my uh, our uh, like our anniversary so <laughs> yeah um, so i can relate into it uh, because uh, also even sometimes uh, the birthday of my kids uh, i forgot as well um th there was um a moment that uh, i need to i need to you know go to the hospital and to to fill out uh, some forms and i need to you know, I need to um, I need to uh, call my wife and um, tell to my wife uh, what is the birthday of uh, our kid <laughs> because I forgot <laughs> something like that. So uh, sh shame on sh shame on me, but um, but uh, you know sometimes some men um, uh, we don't care about it because um, maybe we we think that that is a least priority, but in a sense that is you know uh, I know that you. You you uh, you you will not agree about this uh, to all viewers out there. Uh, some of you um, may uh, you know may 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 may, uh, may say that maybe you will say maybe you would say that that is a very important thing. But for us uh, sometimes because we tend to get very busy in our work. Um, Still, it's not an excuse, that, Edward. Yeah, it's, it's not, not an excuse. excuse. It's not an excuse. Uh, I I really um, you know. Uh, um, I agree with you about that, but um, but, but fortunately that, nowadays that, we have that that will be the cause. Yeah, now that we we have Facebook, <laughs> Google Calendar, <laughs> all those. You guys, so you're, that... you're just giving my husband a reason, yeah. Yeah, let's actually um, talk to your husband and see what he thinks. I'm kidding. Now, um, he's just exactly husband, like you guys. Your there husband you is super busy, right? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. yeah. No, he has dementia when it comes to these things. <laughs> Just yeah. dementia. <laughs> dementia, that is the right term. <laughs> okay, when well, it comes to the special days, he has dementia already. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, let's just, uh, I guess, rest this case and uh, move on to the next question, which would be, um, I mean, you know, I don't know how, how to further defend this, so I'd, I'd like to move on now. So next question is, can men wear women's clothing or can women wear men's clothing? Why or why not? We can, but those are not too much comfortable <laughs> to dress. <laughs> it's very comfortable, you know? I will never dress 
a a skirt <laughs> or something. But like but I think it depends upon which um style of the clothes. Okay. And it's also depends. Let's say for example, on, you can wear yeah. normal tops, or you can normal <laughs> trousers or something. Mm -hmm. We can but go topless. <laughs> exact man, you're always going topless, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh it's exact it's actually acceptable, in a way, in a sense like if you're um if you're working in a show like if you are in the show business if you are an actor or uh, actress and you need to portray this this kind of you know you need to wear um a, a woman's clothes so you have to do that because um you, you know you're gonna lose your job and you, your uh, the director will gonna get mad at you and yeah uh, it really depends but um but for, uh, but um in a you know in a like in a normal setup um like in your in your house um i'm i'm not going to do that <laughs> so i'm going to do that <laughs> yeah, the, but i, I think, remember sorry but i think Eduardo, it has to do with like let's say for example okay let's face it no man in his right mind will wear skirt right unless you're a Scottish or, you know, it's part of your, you know, they're wearing this kind of stuff. But I think it's pretty acceptable nowadays, the colors. Let's say, the for colors, example, yeah. men, you're wearing now, let's say, pink polo shirt or purple uh, purple polo shirt. You know, it's the colors, like the feminine colors. Some men are wearing it now. It's Nowadays, it's uh, acceptable, the colors. But... I think the design of the clothes is still that's a big, uh, you know, questionable there. Um, yeah, regarding that one, um, let's give respect to LGBTQ community um, because yeah, uh, they they are doing it, and um, um, we we are not anti LGBT uh, community, mm -hmm. and yep, uh, you, you can do um, yeah, we we are in a free country. Um, and you can do what you can do. So, yep, um, we actually um, give uh, respect to you uh, regarding this kind of topic. No, no offense at all. No offense. This is just, you know, our opinion. But we respect you guys. Yes, I think that the, um, the matter here is that acceptable for whom? Uh, what, who? That's whom? a good question. Yeah. Because maybe it's acceptable for you. You are comfortable dressed, uh, wearing wearing those uh, clothes, and if you don't care about the others' opinions, and uh, you know, you can go and you can go and dress whatever you want, whatever you want to to to, to wear. But I think that if you are you are afraid of what the other people are going to to say, how they are going to react. Maybe in your job you can go be a man and go with a skirt and I don't know a, a women t-shirt or something like that. Uh, well, it, maybe it won't it won't be acceptable in your job, but maybe in your house you 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 wear uh, heels and a skirt and everything that you like. But it, it depends on on where you are going to to wear those uh, uh, clothes. And also, who is going to judge outside? Speaking of which, actually, I wanted to show something. Sorry about that interruption, but mm -hmm. um, I wanted to show something. We're not going to get any um, audio because it's just how, how it is. But look at this guy, this man. And um, he's actually wearing, um, like, he's, he's, he claims that he's straight. Uh, and, mm -hmm. But then he, you know, wears women's clothing. Um, I, I'm thinking that he may be uh, a cross-dresser and he feels comfortable whenever he... he exactly. You know, he's, he's just, he's okay yeah. with it. And um, whenever... Um, uh, he's I, a so straight... Um, Vince is straight man, right? He's definitely, he's definitely straight, yeah. yeah. That's what he said. Are, are you are you sure, Vince? That's what he says. That's what he says. Yeah, I, I, I saw think, the video. Yeah, Mark I, Bryan I, is... Yeah, Mark mm, Bryan to is me, happily married. Looks, looks really elegant with those uh, heels and uh, things that he, he's wearing. But... Yeah, but it's no. it's his passion, you know. It's his we cannot passion. just judge exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So this is what he is. I mean, he dresses up. His daughter and his wife fully supports this. He goes to work like this, and um, you know he he doesn't really get any negative um, negative as negative criticism. And it's it's great that he is actually able to do this. I'm I'm, I'm actually really yeah. you know I commend him. But and kudos is, to him because yeah, it's 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 not easy to wear this, and he's a straight man. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, kudos, kudos, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I mean it really uh, but the, the the upside to this is that he really has good calves. Like his, exactly. his calves are really because I'm you know wearing heels is really really mm -hmm. taxing to your to your calves. Exactly. So it's a, in a way that's, he's actually That's why I think he's flaunting oh. it. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem to me will be the the shaving. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you need to <laughs> shave every day. <laughs> Forget about shaving Eduardo, yeah. you're fine. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot to shave my 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 beard. So I don't know. It would I mean, be a lot go, of work. You can go natural, I think. <laughs> exactly. I mean, with this, you know, again, we need to uh, be forward thinking about this. I mean, if you don't like to see mm. hair stubbles and stuff, and yeah, go ahead and you know, go ahead and uh, shave yourself. But I mean, if you don't, then you don't. So it's really cool that um, this guy's doing this. I'm going to now stop this because it's kind of getting. Um, too much, I guess. But yeah, he, got, he even goes for for hybrid um, 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 clothes, and like you said, uh, the Scottish actually um, wear uh, no skirts. But exactly. let's also think about not just the Scottish, actually. But what about the Japanese? Uh, look at the um, the kimono. The if kimono. Look, yeah, exactly. if you look at a woman's kimono and a man's kimono, there essentially there's no difference. Be, there's no uh, yeah, except maybe perhaps the the color and perhaps the the length of the. Um, uh, I forgot the name the, of the uh, the sleeve. The sleeve, yeah. So there it is. I mean, but then we do have cultures that really differentiate um, garb when it comes to women. This is what you wear. If, to men, to 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 women, this is what you wear. And uh, it's but, just. You but know, also, in the yeah. past, there there were uh, short short uh, pants for kids, and mm -hmm. uh, and they were uh, they wore. Uh, these shorts, even uh, in winter, so mm -hmm. it was like uh, a code, a dress coding that it was really unfair for them in mm -hmm. the past. And also, yeah. I remember when I was in high school, uh, uh, they didn't allow girls using pants in, in, in winter, on winter. And it was really, they complained all the time because it, it got really freezing here and they uh, they had to go uh, dress in skirts, and it was uh, really unfair for them. So I mean, come on, guys, life is short. Do whatever you love to do, then wear whatever you love to wear. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, one, one thing uh, I can remember um, here in the Philippines: um, the men wearing skirts when during um, during their uh, circum circum circumcision. Exactly. Edward, I want to uh, I want to tell you something, okay, since you talk about it. That's going to be after they're circumcised. All uh, right. But it's like it's uh, you know, it's um I think it's because you know, if they're wearing pants, it would really bothers them. But we're going to talk about it la later about the circumcision stuff. Yeah, that that's not common here in Argentina. We don't exactly uh, we don't perform those things <laughs> i but don't know if in, it's religious i think here in turkey it's very it's very different from the philippines how we do this one because in the philippines we don't make parties because of it but here it's a big thing in turkey like they really make a big party to it's me like, that that is like mutilation i don't know if that that's a word but they are I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> That's yeah. unnecessary surgery, or, or <laughs> if you if you will, a surgery. I don't know. I, I, here we perform a circumcision just when you need that. We do, we, when we do, you have a problem with that part of your of your uh, uh, body, and they they do the circumcision. But it mm -hmm. is not common here for other causes. Anyone else? <laughs> so I guess we're, we're good with yeah. this. 
we are Catholic this, here, this so this topic it, we need to put it in a different, a different you know, in a meeting, different yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. It, this is very interesting one. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's talk about let's talk oh, from clothing. Let's talk about bathrooms. How about bathrooms? <laughs> Can women use the same bathroom as men? Um, yeah, the same bathroom as women. Definitely, yeah? yes. Definitely. Yeah, okay. because uh, Definitely. We, how does the the, uh, the men's uh, bathroom look like? No, oh, we have, we have now um, called all gender all gender restroom all, all gender bathroom. Exactly. But but the toilet the design of the toilet of course is like they they, they only have one toilet for sure, and they are gonna lack it. But in in a way, um, you know, um, they could um uh the the uh, lady could enter and the men could enter but not at the same time but that is um all gender um toilet or bathroom oh yeah ba bathroom uh, because um um in our um in our uh, uh at, at work um we we have that kind of all gender all gender uh, bathroom yeah but i think it's okay for i mean come come to think of it if we're at home do we have separate bathrooms for men and for women i mean we have a, an all gender uh, uh, bathroom when it comes to our houses and so if we went out in, in public um it kind of would, would make sense but the thing is here's the thing we're trying to prevent crimes i guess if, if this mm -hmm. is where, where we're going and uh exactly when it comes to crimes and definitely there's going to be a, a sort of conflict so when it comes to let's just um hit um uh, let's just hit it in the, in the head what about the third sex? What they call the third sex, or the um, uh, the LGBTQ community? Mm -hmm. How how are they able to uh, circumvent this? Uh, would they go to a, a bathroom that is more towards their sexual orientation, or would they go to what they were born with, even though they may have had a surgery to correct this? W what is your take on this? Everyone? I think that the problem now that is the the so-called non-binary. Uh, mm -hmm gender they don't like uh, choosing uh between man and women exactly. that's the problem because if you are if you are allowed to if you are a transgender person you will you will ever choose the the the, the bathroom that represents the the gender you 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 are you feel you uh you feel you are like a woman or man but this uh, new sex that we have today gender sorry um uh, they 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 have this problem they don't want to to they they don't want to choose between men and women men and women they need uh, something else or everyone going to the same place so that's exactly. that's the thing the discussion the only, you, mm -hmm. only the true the true exception would be when a mother and a, a son goes in there um, and, um, you know, for some, um, that, that, that would probably be the only exception that I could think of when it comes to them, uh, to multiple sexes being in the same room, you know, of course, because the kid may need some help or the daughter may need some help. I, I, I totally and, understand yeah. with you, Vince, because yeah. way back when we were in Canada, it's just like, for example, my daughter, she needs to pee and I'm not available there to help her. Her dad brought her to the men's the uh, washroom and of course it's it let's put it into consideration guys they're still kids you know they're they're not have they they're they're still too young to identify men and male bathroom and female bathroom and of course it's um also for the female bath uh, washroom we would also like you know there's also like let's say breastfeeding or family room like where woman goes there like if say if they're in a mall like they tried to breastfeed their kids they don't do it in public they need to go to this um breastfeeding room which is inside the female bathroom nowadays you know now argentina you have in for example in the mall you have the in the men uh bathroom you have this uh table for changing your changing the, the diapers right the nappies diapers. yeah uh -huh. and they they added the, that uh device in in our in the men because it, it was like they were complaining that it was uh, difficult for those fathers that were carrying their kids they couldn't uh, 
they, it was really uncomfortable to then go into the women exactly. bathroom to do the, to do that. So they decided to add that implement in the in the bathroom. And that's very good, Eduardo, because it goes back to our first uh, question before, like the duties between mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So it's not only the mom who has to change the nappies, also dad can do it. That's why it's very good if they add that to the male washroom. Mm -hmm. And guys, what about the going to the bathroom to gossiping? <laughs> <Maybe Yeah. you. laughs> I've never ever go to the bathroom and gossip, so I can't really relate. Well, to you that. gotta do the bathroom to gossip. <laughs> why would we? Why would we yeah. gossip? And... <laughs> That's. A, I mean, we've seen I it know. in the movies. But in the well, movies, yeah. girls going to the bathroom just yeah. to talk about the the guy or something. Mm -hmm. Is that a stereotype, and, by the way, um, at the show? Is that a stereotype? No, uh, that, 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 that is a common thing. That that is a common. It's thing. very no, common. Uh, okay. uh, that that is a common um, with the girl, but not for for the boy. But I never we, tried we it. We gossip. <laughs> man also gossip. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, man yeah. gossip, but uh, really? you know, um, gossiping yeah, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Um, yeah. In the bathroom, no. We... Uh, no. <laughs> no. Man also gossip, we... but not in the bathroom, right? Oh, we don't yeah. like to, to yeah, talk yeah, yeah. too much uh, with the uh, other man in the bathroom. It's like uncomfortable. <laughs> with... It's yeah, very we... uncomfortable. What are you guys yeah, doing? It's awkward. Yeah. It would be awkward, I think. Yeah. So I guess we're and even with... for even for women, what are you doing in the bathroom to gossip? I mean, you can't hold your breath for that long. What do you mean? What would you hold your breath? Is it that stinky? Who, who knows? There's some smells there, Vince. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead. All right, let's let's just move on to the next question then. In your home, who does the cooking, cleaning, and household chores? You do? All of it? All of them. What about you, Chris? All, is it your wife too? Oh, um, it's uh, there, there's a separation. I'm just uh, doing my my you know um, my job and as a father, mm -hmm. like uh, providing the needs of my family, and yeah, I'm um, working, and also um, my my job. Uh, my, my my wife is doing his um, his household chore, uh, the household chores um, her her task. So uh, she's doing her task and I'm doing my task. But if I, um, you know, if I have um, a spare time, uh, especially during my rest day and my off, um, so I'm gonna um, like um, help my my wife because uh, we have we have a baby. So exactly. so I need to I need to understand that my wife needs help. And if I don't um, if I don't you know um, help my wife, there, there's a tendency that my wife um might might stress so because uh you know um she's uh she's a newly pregnant so uh i i also take that into consideration because um uh, i know you you know about this uh, sheila that if the woman is just a like um postpartum depression and you uh, yeah and newly like um and newly pregnant so there's a um um pores um, what 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 you what you what you what you uh, do you call this? Um, I think post... it's postpartum depression. Yeah, postpartum depression. Yeah, you got it. So that that is correct. Yeah, so... but I think I think Edward, I think it has to do also with like, it differs from culture to culture. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, but but sometimes even though you know um. Uh, sometimes culture doesn't matter um, because it's it's we are all human, so it's it's a part of a disease, and we really don't know when, when it when it comes. So, so no, I mean you know the 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 doing the household chores and it's it it's a part also of uh, a person's culture, I guess, because I remember. Yeah. Because I think in the Philippines, we don't have this much problem because I remember growing up, my dad helps a lot at home. I mean, he does the cooking until now. He does the washing of clothes and stuff like that. There is, it's, it's, but I'm not talking like in Turkish men in general. I mean, I, I don't real, uh, generalize Turkish men, but that's how I see it here in Turkey. Like, Men, 
doesn't touch anything that has to do with the household chores. I see. So it's a uh, yeah. Um, that's actually it a, has a to part be the woman's culture. job. Yeah, uh, that has something to do with culture. But yeah, I'm I'm actually um thinking with the uh, why most of the chef are 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 men. So and... exactly, they... <laughs> <laughs> so... they they cook for other people, yeah, not for yeah. their family. Not for the family. So if they are <laughs> if they are compensated, it's okay. if they're not, <laughs> then it's not okay. Uh, actually, you know, um, they're like comes, a carpenter it, without their own house. Yeah, exactly. It, comes to my, it, it actually comes to my mind because I'm I'm a fan of watching um, um, Gordon 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 Ramsay. Master Chef, yeah. The 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 nightmare. <laughs> the restaurant nightmare. Eh? Oh, rest, restaurant ni- nightmare. Yeah. Well, here. Yeah, but I think it has to do with culture. How about you, Eduardo? How's your in Argentina? Yeah. How is it? Here in Argentina is uh, actually, as you said, culturally, women are expected to care of the household chores. Exactly. But it's been changing uh, this uh, last decade. And exactly. Young young couples they share a lot of uh, these uh, how household chores. And for example, in, in my case, I live with my mother, <laughs> uh, so she is the the one that cooks because I, 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 I'm not too <laughs> too much uh, used to cooking so she but I, I try to to do everything I can uh, 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 for example uh, I take care of cleaning the outside of the house uh, and repairing things that that I, I can and or looking for someone that uh, helps me to repair those things. Okay. Uh, and also clean. Sometimes I I, I also do the, the household chores, the cleaning the the floor and washing the the, the washing the, the the things we use with the, the plates and I I don't know how to say that. And and the laundry we do the we have the, the machine so we put the, the you just put the the clothes in the machine the clothes in the machine and the, the, so there's not. Too much to do, but uh, we we try to share the things. But she is um, as as she was the a mother of four. <laughs> she she likes I, I don't mean likes, but she she always uh, tend to try to do everything, and and I'm trying to help her uh, picking also things uh, and try to to give her some some support, uh, but. Yeah, it is common here that women are in charge of the household chores. It's like cultural. Yeah, it's the same thing with my with my parents actually. When when I was growing up, well, actually, the thing is, it's not fair for my dad because because he was here. But the thing is, in my in my aunt's house, it used usually would be um, the mother. It was because even though she had a full time job, my aunt was a or is a teacher still is a teacher even though she's a teacher she still has she, she needed to do the household chores and it was because my my uncle would be in the city and um, you know doing uh, she would be the one who is uh, would would come home um, faster because she was just about like a, a few kilometers a few meters away from the school actually not even a few kilometers more like a meter a few meters away from the school and so it was okay it was easier for them but as i grew up looking at my parents um, it was more like my mom taking care of the uh, the cleaning my dad does the cooking um out of the two to be honest with with all of you and they know this too my mom and my dad know this too so i'm not really backstabbing or anything my, my dad he actually he cooks better than my, my than my mom and it was probably because uh, when 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 my, when my dad was growing up he had an uncle or maybe he had some i forgot what it was maybe it was one of one of my grand uncles who taught him how to cook and so it was far better at doing it my mom on the other hand knows how to cook but she just does not want to put a lot of salt because she's trying to prevent um our natural tendency to have high blood pressure pressure okay that's just it's just um, a thing that has happened with us or rather it's, it's more of genetic so I understand the uh, the concern, but at, the, at times I'm like, can we just sac- sacrifice the uh, uh, the because uh, I mean we're not we're not putting a lot of salt every day, and so maybe 
in spe uh, doing special occasions is just go splurge on salt and you know be, be done with it be, let, let actually enjoy the, the food and so yeah so but in terms of right now i'm not living with my parents when it comes to the household that i am in right now my landlord who i also call uncle actually when it comes to household chores he would be the one doing most of it he would be cleaning the, the backyard he would be cleaning the uh, the floors he would also actually do the cooking but but sometimes or rather most of the time actually it's the uh, it's my landlady who i call tia and, mm -hmm. it, and it's only because I call it Tia because she speaks Spanish. Anyway, aside, um, aside from that, um, yeah, she really cooks well. The last thing that she cooked actually was really good. Uh, it was like it had crabs, it had octopus bits, it had shrimp, clams, mussels, potatoes. It was the works. I, I really, really loved it. And uh, when it comes to the cooking with her, she really strives for the flavor. She strives for the, um, the presentation as well. Um, but then when it, when it comes to our, um, to my uncle, it would be, um, kind of like basic stuff. So we, we would only have him cook whenever it comes to like, ba. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of ba, and I'm saying it, uh, with, with my, uh, <laughs> with my fault. Um, Is that my... a Filipino cuisine, Vince? No, it's, it's Vietnamese. It's, just Vietnamese. it's Vietnamese, right? Yeah, yeah. So it has, um, rice noodles, um, uh, beef, beef brisket. It also has um, beef balls. Uh, actually, it, dif it differs. Po baba actually is made out of beef. Baga is with chicken. So, that, but without getting it more complicated, he definitely is better when it comes to that cuisine because he grew up making it. My um, uh, whenever it's uh, Tia who makes it, it's it it has a different taste, and so because maybe she uses less. Um, uh, Patis, what we call it in the, in the Philippines, but I forgot what, a oh, fish sauce in, in English. Fish sauce. And so there's that division of labor. So, but when it comes to me and my, my wife, future wife, I definitely want to uh, um, have some sort of um, control when it comes to cooking. And it's only because I want to measure everything that I, I eat. <laughs> if not for dieting, then I would not be doing it. For cleaning, perhaps I would um, definitely help out. When it comes to cleaning, you know, a lot of it is manual labor, right? Exactly. I mean, it makes more sense that we we men should not women. We men should be the ones <laughs> doing men. it because we have the muscles, right? We have the muscles. At least like, even yeah. loading and unloading the yeah. washing machine. Yeah, let's just yeah, do yeah. it. You know, let's just know, learn how to do it. And by the way, I'm um, in the Philippines. We have a subject called home economics. I'm not sure if you guys have had that. Yeah, I, yeah. I had it. Um, I had it. Home economics. Yeah. Home yeah, economics yeah, yeah. is basically uh, Eduardo. Uh, just to initiate you, it's a class uh, where you're taught how to cook, how to sew, how, how to, to sew, plant, how to cook, how, how to, to plant, plant. Oh, yeah. how to plant, even how, how, to clean. how to clean, definitely how to clean. And it would also uh, introduce us like the different tools. I, I still remember one of our projects being we had to draw every single tool that we could, and that would be uh, that would be um, something that would that we would um, be graded on, and the completeness of that um, of that list or rather that th those drawings would be would, would determine what your grade is and also when it comes when it came to sewing they sewing, taught us exactly. how to they taught us how to do a, a straight stitch a back cross stitch cross uh -huh. stitch as well uh -huh. and we were a lot of stitches um and yeah um i used to have a, a kit with, with all the, that stuff and so you know it was we were and, there, and men and women boys and girls of course needed exactly to be in this class and we're not sexist in my country yeah we're not actually we we we've had two uh, two presidents female presidents in the Philippines. so exactly so that we've over broken barriers when it comes to um, the leaders and it, it only makes sense to me that women should be able to lead and it's because my teachers were predominantly female like and i saw saw them as leaders and so it made more, it made made sense to me that they are capable of doing this on a grander scale. So, but when it comes to cooking, cleaning, household chores, I really think um, it should be an equal thing. Okay, it should be an equal thing, not just. Of course, it should women. be. But the thing is, we do have some religions that prohibit this type of um, this type of equality, and let's just leave it at that. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
But because that's Japan, one how yeah. I observe it here in the country that I'm living right now. But I'm not generalizing, okay, Vince? I mean, it's some, I think some changed already, the, the new generations, I guess, but not that much. But, you know, the, the place where I'm living at, it's just like all my friends, we're just doing the same thing. Like, we're just doing all the household chores and stuff like that. And they have a certain, let's say, for example, uh, a coffee shop. There are also like high class coffee shop wherein men and women can gather together. But usually they have lots of, they call it local coffee shops, but only men can go there. No women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, only men can hang out there, play something, or drink tea or Turkish coffee, but not women. Is it a mm -hmm. gentleman's club? I don't know what it's just like a normal coffee shop here. It's coffee we said room. local coffee shop because we had also like we say high class coffee shop wherein men and women can hang out together. But this is especially the teenagers, you know, the young generations. They're hanging out in the coffee shop. But for the older generations, I guess, it's always like men hangs out in this coffee shop. No women can go there. Okay. That's that's okay. really weird, but okay. Okay, <laughs> but uh, the the funny thing about it, um, uh, you know, the funny thing about this, um, who does the cooking, cleaning, and household chores, um, uh, because um, you know, um, we already know that, um, the uh, the women um should practice um, the the things that they need to do, um, especially the the household chores. But also the men um, should practice, um, you know, um, the, uh, the 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 things that the, uh, the the men that needs to do, which is to to uh, to work and to, to to you know provide the needs of the family. But here's what: um, during uh, whenever my my wife and my kids will uh, will uh, will uh, went to my will went to my um, father and mother-in-law. Then I'm I'm the only one left left alone at home, so I have no choice but to do to do everything, the household chores, the cooking, and at the same time um, um, I'm doing my work. So I have no choice. So that's the funny thing. I don't so, think, I think you have a choice. Actually, I think you have a choice though. No, you can, definitely, um, you can always order in. You yeah, can go out and exactly. That's what my husband. That's but, what my husband usually do. Yeah, you can. If I'm not at home, he's just calling order. Or just call call but, someone from you from the neighbor. Hey, uh, can I pay you to um, clean the house right now? And then I, I'm gonna do my work. But uh, that will, you know, uh, I will uh, take that. that like uh, I will. Uh, Budget um, cutting. Yeah, uh, I, I will. <laughs> that is a uh, cozy for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> household chores okay mm, i think that the following question has uh is really linked with this question all right let's that do it. Is, uh, yeah babysitting mm -hmm. do you think that uh, a man that is not related to the kid uh would be a, a good choice for caring for them and to babysit them to me it's like awkward you know that you have to know that person and trust i don't know you're trusting on them exactly. with 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 uh, we're trusting on them to care of something that is uh, the most important on on your life that is your kids so uh you know there they even there even between relatives there are there is the risk of uh, happening something, and you know what what I mean. Exactly. And, and I think that it's it. I think the the father maybe, uh, and I, I read something on the internet that it is unfair to say that when the the father is uh, um, uh, babysitting their, their kids. Uh, it, it is unfair to say that they are babysitting because it is also their duty to to care about the, the kids. To look after their own so, kids, exactly. Look after, yeah. But uh, going back to the question, I, I, I wouldn't, I would never trust on someone else than uh, maybe, uh, maybe a, a brother or a, an uncle maybe. <laughs> 
but you always have to be checking on on your kids and what is happening because you know you never know it is but it is also for women i i mean uh, there are a lot of bad people there so you have you always have to to be checking on your kids and 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 whenever you trust the person you have always to to take care of what is happening with your kids all the time exactly mm -hmm. i totally agree with you eduardo it's just like okay men they can also work as a babysitter because same as women men could also be responsible they could also mm -hmm. be like really taking good care of the kids but you need to stop men has to establish the trust of the parents and for me personally i i couldn't even let my kids left alone with you know my own relatives how much more to a stranger especially if it's like you know male figure it's it, it's kind of personally it's my choice it's really different uh, definitely uh, the, the, there is um trust issue that will arise um of regarding uh, babysitting and also especially if you have um like if you already have a uh, your own um your own children so um you, you need to babysit you know your your, your own um children um rather than um you know babysitting um other children but in, in a way um it happens uh, in a relative in a relative it happens but it's uh, yeah it's it's still uh it's still uh, there's a risk exactly so, What about you, Vince? What do you think? When it comes to male babysitters, my dad actually, well, here's the thing. Um, he was, okay, he's way older than, than my aunt. So when they, when they, when they were um, growing up, um, my, my aunt actually called my dad Yo-Yo, which is a, um, a reduplication of the, the, the name, or rather, it's not really, okay, here. It, it's short for ya yayo, but then it's like a reduplication of the second syllable. So it basically means na nanny, male nanny in in Filipino, and he has it, it was no problem with him whatsoever, and it, it was because he was taking care of his half sister. So I guess he was okay because they were you know they were brothers and sisters, and I guess it's okay whenever it comes to relatives, but when it but when it comes to babysitting, it has traditionally been rele relegated to women. I think to female teenagers mostly. When uh, if we if we come exactly. to um, the movies, it would be a female teenager doing the the work. I've never really seen um, a male a, babysitter. A male babysitters at all. It's like how you know it never really happens. And maybe if it does, then it's. It's not portrayed in uh, in media, and I've of never course. heard of it. And yeah, that's, you know, I don't know. You know, recently I saw a video on YouTube of an Argentinian, a, a young man. He went to the U.S. for studying English, and he couldn't get a a, a job, so he was uh, looking for something to do. Uh, uh, and he, uh, I don't know how. He was uh, contacted by some people, and he became like a, a babysitter, but in not, not in the way of uh, uh, looking for the kids in, in the house. Or he he was in charge of taking the kids and um, to the I don't know their classes, and then uh, taking them to have an ice cream and maybe playing in the in the park, but it was like uh, and being with the being with the kids when their parents were, were working, but they were doing activities, and that's the job. And he was called like a babysitter, but he 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 wasn't doing the traditional work, like staying in home and and caring and looking for the the, the child, but he was like a uh, taking them to different places, activities, and but he was in charge of very young uh, kids, 
like five year old, seven, eight, something like that. And he was uh, he was uh, doing a lot of money in that job. Yeah, and I don't think the, there's a problem, Eduardo, with that. If he was able to establish the trust of the parents, you know, and it, I think it has to do more with outdoor activities. So there, it's not like there's no big doubt about it. But still, um, you know, it's a matter of trust. I mean, if you really could trust a person, then why not? But still, it goes down to trust issues. I actually looked it up just now, and in the United States, at least, according to the statistic, 98% of nannies are female, 2% are male. <laughs> Imagine that, 2%. So there, there exists male yeah. uh, babysitter, but it's yeah. really, really yeah. rare. Really, yeah, there really is. Rare. But that 2% um, must represent a, a big number of people. <laughs> Oh, like, it must. Uh, it must. I mean, but the yeah. thing is, we don't really have a lot of nannies here, do we? I mean, I, I don't really know. I can't really speak uh, intelligently about the subject because I never really looked it up, to be honest with you. This is one of those questions that I never really looked up. And so, but according to what I what I know, it is generally... Of course it exists. Female, it, it, female. It, it, it does exist, but the, the percentage is lower compared mm -hmm. to the female nannies. So should we, uh, uh, should men actually band up and say, hey, we could be nannies too. Should we be doing this or not? Uh, you know, kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, like the Me Too uh, movement where we should be included mm. too. Do you guys, you guys have any, um, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's not really necessary. Um, if you want to, uh, there are other jobs there, uh, here and anyway, we're not really clamoring for the position. And so I, I think it would be safe for me to say that I can step out of the, of the picture and not be a nanny. I don't want to be a nanny, to be honest with you. Kids are definitely a, a handful. I, I mean, first of all, why, why would you want a handful? To serve? Of course, and men, you, you have a very, your patience, you cannot stretch your patient this much. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, you have a limitation. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. that. So mm -hmm. it's, that's, that's, I think also that's another reason why. Actually, hold on. I do remember a movie where we had a, a male babysitter and it was a comedy. And uh, I think it starred um, one of those wrestlers. As a, it could have either been, I think it was, what's his name now? Uh -huh, um, I think John Cena. It was... John Cena, I think. Or, or it could have been Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I'm not sure about the movie anymore, but yeah. Vin um, Diesel, maybe? Maybe, uh, maybe perhaps, actually, maybe Vin, Vin, Diesel. Vin Diesel. Yes, Vin yes Diesel. exactly. Vin Diesel. It was Vin, a comedy, right? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. And it was, you know, they just, and he was trying to uh, uh, fend for the kids, nothing. Um, sexual was happening because I'm just that's just to address that it is definitely a sexual concern when it comes to um, having uh, you know a, a male uh, babysitter yeah. so he, he was like, like a bodyguard uh, uh, this yeah, guy's yeah. Yeah. Babysitter. CIA or something like that, yeah oh and also Jackie Chan had a, a movie just like that but the thing is he was courting the mother yeah yeah, yeah. I remember that one his case was very yeah. different it was different so um, so again I it's weird. But anyway, it's it's a very small percentage as far as plots are concerned, I guess, also. And let's just say for now that, um, yeah, it should just be relegated to women because they're trusted far better than male. Exactly. I think in my, in my country, we are really far from that idea. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't, it's I don't zero in Argentina. It works, yeah. Okay. And, so. and, yeah and also, um, we should think that the fact that they, they are the um, you know expert on on that matter so that should give it to the uh to the uh, to the um, expert email. <laughs> the expert yeah. yeah but well we we all the time we are uh, around the idea of uh, the the what are the duties of a man and women and gender expectations so that that's also the thing that always we go back to well women are better caring for the kids because the it's natural for them and all the things that yeah i think that uh, 
<laughs> if you go back to the first question, that yeah. is the first question. We always going back to that question. So because the social expectation for gender is uh, really strong. Mm -hmm. So there it is. So we're back in square one. Our, our father is capable of carrying out the duties of a mother and vice versa. As we have seen right now, because exactly. we can't trust a nanny, uh, male nannies, perhaps fathers are not capable of carrying the duties of a mother. So I think this topic has been wrapped up already, Vin. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. It wrapped it, it yeah. went back to the first question. Exactly. So yeah. we're now at a full circle and it's time for us to say bye bye. Bye guys. Till next bye, time. Guys. It was a pleasure. And Alrighty. also don't forget to, to oh, yeah, so like, share, and subscribe. Like, like share, subscribe. Press the bell. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, press, press the bell, the press the buttons. <laughs> Yeah. Right, the red and, button. Yeah. Don't, don't forget to comment, guys. So yeah, exactly. Really if you have any comments. any mm -hmm. topics that you want us to tackle, please comment below. Alrighty. Thank you so much. And Bye. See Bye. you. God bless your comments. See you guys. Uh, bye, guys.